bug no one's ever seen before. Some kind of smart bug. So this is the new Neuro Tyrant from the 10th edition box set, Leviathan. Or as I like to call it, the Brain Bug. I'm going to be doing a speed paint on this guy, and to start it off, I'll be doing a Xenothal Prime, which is completely optional. I'll start off with a base coat of black primer, and then I'm going to come in at 45 degrees with a light gray, and this one's going to be Cadre Gray from Army Painter. You can, of course, do all this with rattle cans, and I already have a video on how to do that. In that video, I'm also painting creepy aliens, and I'll put a link to this in the top corner right now if you want to check that out. I'm now going to finish off the Xenothal Prime with a layer or two of matte white from directly above. If you decide you don't want to do a Xenothal Prime, then I'd recommend either priming the whole thing with white or priming with a light tan or light gray, and then dry brushing the entire model with white afterwards. Now I'm looking at a few color options for this guy, and I'm going to start off with Pallid Bone for all of the tentacles. I'm going to apply this fairly thin, because all I really want to do is tint the tentacles with a light tan color. I forgot to mention that before I use these colors on the model, I'm first testing them on the primed base to see how they look before I use them. Ben made a great video when you see these colors, and that's how I decided which colors I was going to pick for this guy, but I wanted to double check for myself. If you're interested in seeing that video, I'll post a link at the end of this one where Ben goes through every single 2.0 color and how it looks once it's painted onto a model. So after using pastel sea foam on all the brainy bits, I'm now switching to purple swarm. And this is going over all of the exoskeleton. I'll be laying this one on pretty thick because I want a strong contrast between the soft bits of the brain and the tentacles and the hardened exoskeleton. Now I'm going to switch to bony matter for all of the claws, the rib cage, and the face. I want to add a little extra color at the bottom of the tentacles, so I'm going to use the flesh tone Goddess Glow mixed with roughly twice as much speed paint medium. I'm putting on multiple thin layers, but each layer will get shorter and shorter so that the fleshy color concentrates more at the bottom of the tentacle. I wanted these little fleshy divots to stand out more, so I used Moon Lake Coral and dabbed it into each of the little holes. The brain area was looking a little flat, so I wanted to try to give it some more volume. I'm using Thunderbird Blue, and I'm going to put this all around the outer edge of the brain. While that's still wet, I'm going to come back with more of the pastel sea foam and put that into the center of the brain area again, and then just dab my brush into the edge of the darker blue to blend them together. Next, I'm going to do one layer of dry brushing on the carapace using a very, very light purple. I would say that this part is totally optional. I just wanted to give a little extra pop to the edges. Now the last two colors I want to use are an opaque dark gray and an opaque white. I'll be using the dark gray on all of the claws and anything that looks stabby. And the white I'll be using on the teeth, and there's only a few very small teeth at the front of this guy. Off camera I added a little bit of paint to the base and some mud. Nothing worth writing home about, but it did finish off the model nicely. And here is the finished Neuro Tyrant, which took hardly any time at all to complete. Thank you very much to all of our patrons for your continued support, and if you'd like to check out Ben and I on Patreon, there's a link in the description. Also, check out the links at the end of the video to see all of the new 2.0 speed paints in action, or other ways to speed paint aliens. This is Mike from Watch It Paint It, and thanks for watching.